Welcome everyone. Welcome to The Verse with your host Ando, author, Bible teacher, and coach. The Verse podcast is a place where the focus is on God. Here in our podcast, we believe there is a treasure in God's Word. Once found, we increase in faith, in love for God and for one another, and in ability to stay in His presence. As a result, our lives and of those around us change for the better. Your help spreading these messages is much needed. Your financial support will keep us on air. Therefore, we ask you to continue to follow us, share our messages, pray for us, and support us financially. You can give via the PayPal link below. Thanks again for being part of us in helping believers believe. Blessed morning, blessed afternoon, blessed evening, depending on the time you are listening. This is Ando representing the Verse Podcast, where we help believers believe. Today we are moving on with our It's Written Uh, We're going to cover part 22. As we remember last time, we covered part 21. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. We honor you. We thank you for who you are in our lives. You have granted us another day with the desire to seek your face, to obey your command, to fellowship with one another. We thank you for our spirit being uh, in need of the the nutrition you have prepared for us this hour. I pray that uh, as a speaker, help me to feed your people the way you see fit. And Holy Spirit, you are the one to help me do this. Therefore, I decrease. I allow you to increase so you can feed us that which is of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, family and friends, uh, brothers and sisters, I really appreciate um, your consistency in following up with our messages uh, from this very podcast. I do really believe that the word of the Lord is not here to mislead anyone. The word of the Lord is here to give us life because Jesus said his word is a spirit and life. Therefore, we are not um, learning to be deceived or misled. We are not learning to waste time. We are learning to acquire knowledge, and by it, we are not going to perish. We thank the Lord for having us, you know, at the palm of his hand, and as his children, he desires to train us in the ways we should go. As we began a few weeks ago, to desire to be at peace because the king we believe in is a king of peace, the prince of peace, the king who loves peace, the king who loves prosperity. And therefore, um, we have been in this desiring or pursuing uh, the very scripture which tells us to never be anxious for anything, but in everything with the prayer, uh, supplication and thanksgiving, uh, making our request known unto the Lord. So that has been a desire for a couple of weeks, and we are moving on still in the very same line and allowing the Lord to continue expanding this very knowledge about how we can live in peace in the chaotic environment. Um, we jumped on, I think, if not two weeks now, we jumped on in the, 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 uh, the knowledge of the Holy Spirit who is uh, here for us uh, to help us do a whole lot for ourselves and for the kingdom. 
and as uh, we know he is a promise from Jesus that when he was living he promised us that he is living he is going to his father and he's going to ask his father to send him so he can be with us to eliminate the feeling and the the, the self, low self esteem and that very status of looking like orphans so he say i'm going to send uh, to allah to ask my father so he can send you know the spirit who will take care of you in my absence and uh, that what who we are being learning and we know he is the third personality of god the trinity of god we have we believe at least we me and those who are uh, 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 together in my ministry we do believe uh, our god is one but has uh, or operates in three personalities god the father god the son and god the holy spirit so we have been dwelling uh, for the few weeks uh, in the part of god the holy spirit uh, believing that he was sent here to take good care of us even in times like the ones we are in the times where there is chaos loss uh, 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 you know a whole lot going on right now we are absolutely in faith and trust knowing that God saw this day and he decided to um, gift us with the presence of himself in the personality of the Holy Spirit to take care of us spiritually, emotionally, even in all other areas of life. So how are we going to secure the peace? How are we going to eliminate anxiety, fear, and depression by a, uh, the way of asking asking the Lord to uh, uh, to help us as we know that scripture said you know by asking you know supplicating and making our request known unto the Lord so whatever that request you have which robes of your peace gives you sleepless nights and uh, causes you to make mistakes after mistakes he is here in our lives to help us do better to help us do better and he is really the 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 the, the expert and you know has the, he he's a master of the ways and how to even pray the right way so we have him and he's here for you and i so we're gonna move on today to to love him even more uh by looking at um, the the result he brings in our lives and those results we have been learning um, uh, uh, for the past few weeks on on the the fruit uh, of this Holy Spirit, which brings some good good results in our lives. Uh, we covered the kindness, we covered goodness, uh, endurance, and I'm going to move on today in covering humility. Humility. Humility is uh, the other uh, result uh, which is birthed by the Holy Spirit when he indwells us and when he's given time and honor he deserves to bear or to leave us with this result, this presence, this fruit called humility. So we are going to look at that today and uh, I, I really want to... Um, show you how God helped me to explain this uh, humility in a way of kind in a way of uh, as, as an individual talking explaining himself uh, introducing himself you know letting us know who he is so I animated the fruit humility as uh, in an, a person I I, I animated and put it like an individual talking to us, explaining how he is and where he come from <laughs> and the reason he is here. So I'm going to go right away and read from the very book, um, The Fruit of the Holy Spirit, My Identity, the very book uh, our family uh, were able to publish. And as I said, you can let us know or check it on, on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. You will get your copy. You will love it. It's an amazing book talking about the nine <laughs> fruit of the Holy Spirit 
whereby we identify ourselves by. And why we say the identity? <laughs> yeah, we identify ourselves. We say you will know them by the fruit they bear. You know, an angry person, you want to tell by the way they act, the way they say, the way they do things. So the person who is loving also, you would tell, you know, by how they you know, live their lives. So the, the Holy Spirit in us really causes us to be identified by the way we we handle life and handle people. So we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead uh, read hallelujah from the book word by word so that you can you can even have the imagination of how even the other uh, part of the book um, how is it? So it's just kind of a, a good thing to for me to do this today. And I have been just, you know, kind of reminded to read it right straight from the book. So we're going to go, it's on chapter 7, the, the humility is written from chapter 7. So I go ahead and read. Hello, fruit lover. I am glad you are, you have reached me and reading my page. My name is humility with the meaning of gratefulness. My favorite scripture are found in Micah 6, 8 and Matthew eleven twenty nine. So before I move on, let me read Micah 6 and verse 8. Micah 6 uh, verse 8, it says like this. He, he has told you, O oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you except to be just and to love and to diligently practice kindness, compassion, and to walk humbly with your God, uh, with your God, aside any uh, overblown sense of importance of self-righteousness. <laughs> Let me leave this, uh, the one in the quotes. So let, let me go back again. He has, you know, this amplified Bible. It, it, you can read those in quotes, but let me skip the quotes. Uh, the, uh, the ones in a brackets, I mean, not quotes, the brackets. He has told you, oh man, what is good? And what does he, what does the Lord require of you except to be just and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. So this is uh, the scripture which I put it here as a favorite scripture of humility. It, 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 this, verse, this verse right here, it shows humbleness. He wants us humble. That's why he sent the enabler, the Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit to help us do so. You know, God is really, he is very resourceful. He is so resourceful. There is no <laughs> um, excuse that, oh, God didn't, you know, help. I, I couldn't do it because I was, you know, I couldn't do it. Jesus was able to do it because he is 100% God and 100% human. So that's why Jesus did it. Because we know how to get, <laughs> to give ourselves some excuses. But God is always aware of, of our limitation and he provides everything ahead of time is on us to really trust him and and do it as in in the doing you will find yourself able to do it just like the scripture one of the scripture tells us that i can do all things through what through him not by ourselves through him who strengthens us that's why we we are believing and know that he is very resourceful full of the resources. So when he say do this, he means you are able. He will provide what it is needed. When he say, okay, go ahead and do that and not do the other, that means when he say do not do that, he's not going to be there to provide what it takes for you to do it. So when you try yourself, you're going to fail. That's why we're failing in some areas in our lives because we are not supposed to be doing those. He is not there to help us. But where, what, where we are supposed to be or to be and what we are supposed to be doing, he absolutely brings the enablement. 
Amen. So he said, I have done a whole lot in your life. As he was talking through Micah the prophet, I have done a lot in you guys' life. But what I really need is nothing but walk humbly. Walk humble. Love mercy. Love others. But I want you to walk a life of a humble individual. And um, I will enable you. The enable is here. The Holy Spirit who is here to indwell us. And as he is enabled to indwell us, he releases the ability for us to be humble. He leaves the, 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 the enablement for us to be humble. We, we, we just need to desire. Glory, hallelujah. So that's one of the scripture. Let's see Matthew. Um, let's see Matthew 11, 29. It says like this. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Again, why are we anxious? Because our soul are troubled. Our emotional part of us is in, in, in chaos. It's not at peace. So he say, come on. The humble person will come. As we're going to be reading through in the book, you will see what does this really mean. You know, when you are humble, that means you rely on the, uh, uh, the greater God, the Holy Spirit in you to help you. Than uh, being, you know, showing your muscles that I, I, I got this. You would be, <laughs> you would fail. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the results of the Holy Spirit in our lives gives us the ability to be humble. Yes, yes. So let's move on reading uh, a second paragraph from the book. I am sent by God to believers who are Holy Spirit filled, especially those who struggle to accept that justice amongst the believers is made and maintained by God. Many believers are confused, allowing the enemy to swing them back and forth in matters which are absolutely a lie. My existence is to clarify in believers' heart what is the truth and what is not. You're going to get that scripture on uh, uh, Second Thessalonians, Thessalonians, I think. Yeah, yeah. Second Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, 11 and 12. You will see that. Let me see if I can read it a little quick. Because we have uh, in life here right now, there's a, there is a, there's a, a lot going on. And we, we get to be misinformed, unaware, uh, misled, you know, or just, just blind. So with the, uh, the humility uh, of the Holy Spirit, uh, we'll be able to ask God for help. We go, you know, I really need your help, Lord, in everyday matters. Because it's confusing. You just be humble enough to really tell the Lord or tell one another that this one here is, is, is difficult for us right now. Let's seek for counsel. Let's seek for um, a second you know, opinion. Let, let's just hold on a little bit. Um, because we don't want to just go on and find it was a lie. So the, 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 the fruit of the Holy Spirit is here to enable us to calm down and accept that we are confused. Accept that we are, un, we are not aware. We don't know. Ex accept that we need help. So, and as we do that, we will be enabled to find the truth and not to continue moving around, roaming around in a lie after another lie after another lie. And we, at the end of the day, we get, we find ourselves caught up or chained down or, you know, pinned somewhere or committed in something which is truly was not for us to get in. So having the Holy Spirit in our lives will help us be humble. 
And that humbleness will cause us to ask and just be gentle enough to say, you know what, I don't know this one. Or to tell somebody, please uh, don't do like I I thought it is it is supposed to be done. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just I didn't do a, 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 a good research. I didn't really go and looked it up. So I just gave you the, the answer or I just uh, encourage you to do this and that. But really, I'm backing up. I'm just asking you to hold on and do a better research for yourself or, or let's just ask somebody else for, you know, for clarity. Don't do that. Just we are humble enough to not fear, oh, they're going to laugh at me. They will think I don't know it. They will think, mm, I don't want to feel like ignorant. You know, we are humble enough to fear, to mislead people and, and, and allow him to help us to tell the people that I wasn't quite, you know, sure. Okay. We find that very difficult. Most of us to, to just tell the people that, you know what? I don't know. I told you is this, but I think it isn't. Let's, 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 let's just look it, look it closely. Let's, let's, let's just stop, not move on in this. We find it very difficult. So the Holy Spirit is here to help us do, uh, 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 do, do that. Hold on and wait and to get the, the best uh, uh, truth we need to uh, engage in or, or, or something of that nature. That's why when we, we, we do that kind of thing, and we, we really eliminate so many, many mistakes which will lead us to be anxious and angry and, and try to revenge and try to, you know, and loss. We lose a lot of resources. We lose friends. We lose relationship. We lose even faith because of mistakes. Okay, and we end up not being uh, 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 where we're supposed to be because we drag. We, we we get dragged. We get stagnated because we believed a lie or we did something which was not uh, correct. So with the humility, we're gonna progress. And with the humility, we're going to avoid mistakes and therefore no anxiety because we humbled ourselves enough to ask God to say, you know what? Uh, uh, I don't want to be anxious, as you said, and I don't want to be fearful, as you said. But in this matter here, I'm requesting, I'm placing my request, I'm placing my supplication. Father, help me. That's humility. That's humility. So go read the whole chapter of Thessalonians, uh, chapter, <laughs> the uh, second chapter of Thessalonians. Read the whole thing. It's not that a lot. And you will find that in these last days, especially these last days, there are going to come people who will mislead, who will mislead, who are misleading even now. So read it. Uh, I don't want to, to, to read it. It's, it's, it's long. And uh, trying to save time in that. So if you want to really get the benefit of allowing the humility of the Holy Ghost to, uh, to lead you in daily, day to day lives, it will really help you if you're going to read that chapter. You will see the danger of believing just people going ahead and just keep on believing and doing what they're doing. Do your own a favor. Read, study, research, allow God to be the final say in these matters of life, especially now. There's so many things going on and it's so blinding and confusing. It's all together a lie. Oh, Father God. So let's move on. Uh, read um, from the book, straight from the book. Hallelujah. Me, now say me being, me, the peace, no, the humility. Now, remember, the, the, the book is written as a, uh, um, animated. So it's like, you know, as a fast person, fast person reading, like, you know, you're like, uh, we are listening to somebody talk. All right, here we go. Me being spiritual gifted to believer, I am here to make sure they are spiritually established and stand on a solid ground, unshakable and immovable. Read that from Roman 1 11. 
Some people are discouraged and lost faith in God because they have been told that age, gender, social, cultural, material, and financial status are the things God looks at before he can send a blessing. This too is a huge lie. Ecclesiastes 9.11, King Solomon declares, saying, I again saw under the sun that the rest is not to the swift, and the battle is not to the strong, and neither is bread to the wise, or riches to those in, of intelligence and understanding, nor of favor of to men of ability, but time and chance overtakes them all. The above scripture shows the truth that all believers' needs, needs are equal and are equally provided by the same Lord as they obey and follow the guiding rules. I believe a Holy Spirit-led believer shouldn't be misled and confused about anything. I am glad I am here to put a stop to the rumors and confusing regarding God-inspired humility. Be aware of lies <clears throat> circling around the believer circles, hindering them from bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, especially me. I am not what they say, but what God says that I am. Now, I'm going to read, you know, how humility is identifying himself. Here we go. I, humility, I am not weakness or useless, but God's ability over a believer. I, humility, I am not to cause believers to disregard their needs and focus on others' need. I, humility, I am not lacking confidence or bravery. bravery. I, humility, am not low self-esteem, but higher esteem through God. I, humility, I am not embraced, embr I am not to embrace low self-esteem, but to help believers think of themselves less. I am, I, humility, I am not the opposite of pride, but of self selfishness so the opposite of selfishness is humility <laughs> okay i humility help believers accept when they are wrong and lead them to repentance this is just what i just talked about hallelujah yes yes we're moving on there are many reasons why people are misled Many believers fall into the trap due to ignorance. Spiritual ignorance is a result of not studying the Bible. Spending enough time in the Word of God is the key to becoming established in God's knowledge. If you want to be established and be left head and not tail, above and not beneath, you must know what God says about you and those desires you have. There are no shortcuts. <laughs> there are no shortcuts. <laughs> With me humility, individuals are willing to set aside their abilities and pick up God's ability. Again, you can do all things, remember, through Christ. Mm-hmm. With God's enablement, they become more productive, thriving not only for themselves, but about also benefiting those around them as well. The key is not uh, acknowledging God and staying dependent on God's power through Jesus Christ. And you can get that from Philippians 4.13. Remember, humility is not weakness. The confidence I have in God 
helps the believer to be Im- immovable when it comes to having faith in God's promises. The Holy Spirit in a believer uh, is the pathway to this very faith. Knowing the Holy Spirit doesn't, uh, the Holy Spirit does not do according to His desire, but what the, He hears from the the Lord Jesus Christ. This faithfulness makes the promises even more secure. It's my sincere desire that <clears throat> it's my sincere desire that all Holy Spirit filled believers desire to be spiritually mature. Maturity in God positions the believer to easily receive God's promises. Before a believer matures spiritually, the ability to access his or her inheritance will be limited. We get that one here from Galatians 4. One. one of the ability humility provides is to push away low self-esteem and embrace greatness found in the abilities God gives through the Holy Spirit. First Peter 5.6 the knowledge that you have been qualified and empowered to do anything is the key to accessing your promises and your inheritance. So when all this gets to be answered, as I'm, 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 I'm I stopped reading. <laughs> when we we get to mature, when we get to receive the promises, when we get to receive the answers from prayers. That eliminates automatically the anxiety and fear and the worthlessness, the worry and the hopelessness. Why? Because you are engaged. You, you talk to God and God answers, you mature, you access your, 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 your inheritance. I mean, you, you, are, you are walking really hand in hand with the Lord. And who else, why to worry if God be for you? But if God is not for us or with us, there's no courage from anywhere. And you will just find yourself scared, find yourself anxious, find yourself uh, with no hope. So let's do this. Let's do this. We need to continue being humble. We need to continue being uh, grateful. Let me finish the last paragraph. Hallelujah. I am here to lift your self-esteem, never to rob your confidence. You're going to get that from Philippians 4, 13. Hallelujah. He's here to give us that confidence, not to rob us of the confidence. He wants for us to get it. Mm -hmm. Your view of abilities should change. See as a God sees you. Your view of abilities, you know, you know, sometimes we say, I don't have a degree, you know, I'm a single mother, um, I'm a single man, um, I'm too young, you know, my culture is just it's considered minority. I mean, we can go on and on trying to identify ourselves otherwise, but I encourage you to identify yourself as a believer, as God's best. <laughs> you know, God, God can't, Jesus won't die to something <laughs> uh, not of worth. <laughs> I don't think so. So you are worthy. You have a great worth in you. So here we go we la- with the last paragraph. Your view of abilities should change. See as a God sees you, not as a nature or world see you. With, the, with this vision, know that you are more than you think. Step out of your limitation and experience numerous possibilities in the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. And the chapter continues, but I'm not going to read it all over the way. So that's what we are, have, have covered today to look at the... Uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives and what he can do for us to help us avoid the life of fear and living as if we are not, you know, born again or we are not 
surrounded by great hosts of heavens and walking in this life as if, you know, we, we are uh, criminals, you know, uh, criminals who are about to be caught. And I mean, we, we, we need to be free. We need to be free. We need to be at peace with people and with, uh, with ourselves. And uh, why? Because we are loved and God has resources, resourced us very much, much more than we think. We are so privileged and so loved. We are so protected. Therefore, but we have to really know that and, and not just knowing. Do it. Live it. Believe and trust hmm? that we are so. Or else <laughs> we can't fool anybody. We will be just really fooling ourselves, especially when it comes to the things of the spirit. We have to really believe, really believe. And uh, because God looks at our hearts, not what we say in outward or how we handle ourselves outwardly. He looks down in our heart and, and our hearts. So where that is, you know, if there's faith in there, then he will grant you that which he sees is in there. Or else, he said, you know, I will grant you the desires of your heart. But if then there's nothing in there, what he will, he will grant? <laughs> nothing. You just just live like an orphan. You wanna live like a, a person without a God. So thank you so very much. I do believe you have enjoyed the learning about humility is not weakness. Most of us, we come in Christianity, we say just be humble and just be poor. You know, poverty, lack of finance, lack of good stuff, we think that's Christianity. That, that's humbleness. you humble because you, are, you don't need a good car, you don't need a good house, you don't need to be in a good neighborhood. That's really a lie. God, uh, owner of silver and gold, God who created all this we see, I mean, how can he want us be be without <laughs> humility is to allow God to be God okay allow God to be God and uh, as you allow God to be God you even get to be even more to have even more to have even good because you allow him to be God and as you allow him uh, to indwell you and the richest God the the smartest God the creative God living in you, he will cause you to be creative. He will cause you to be wise. He will cause you to be like him because you have allowed him to take over. So when that happens, fear, worry, anxiety, madness and cursing and being angry, he won't have room. Those two won't got, go together. Either you are in the flesh or you are in the spirit. But we want to be in the spirit so we can eliminate anxiety and fear in our lives. Amen. Amen and amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this very um, time together, talking about your goodness and how you want us to live fear-free. Mm. Thank you, Father. We walk by faith and not by sight. If we rely on the sight, we absolutely going to be so scared. But we choose to live by faith, trusting on what you have you are telling us trusting that you are greater in us than that who is around us we thank you father we thank you holy spirit we're learning about you <laughs> so take charge and help us to live fear free life to enjoy that which you came to bring we love you we bless you in jesus name amen and amen Thank you so much, brethren. Thank you so very much. Continue pursuing peace. It's available. It's available. Don't fear at all. God loves you and God is here for you. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of pain, in the midst of uh, loss, in the midst of whatever that is, God is right there besides you. If you only open that door and he came in, then wherever you are, he is. Hallelujah. Even in a prison, even in, 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 a, in a place where you don't expect Christians to be. If you open the door of your heart, he is right there. Remember Daniel? You know, he was thrown there in the den of lions and uh, 
you know, they, uh, and even the, and the, the fire furnace, and they wondered, we put the three, but we see another person, the fourth one. Who is that? <laughs> okay. So even in, in a fire, in a lion den, I mean, wherever you go, believe without doubt. He is right there. Start talking to him. Start conversating with him. Remember scriptures because he is a word. So start talking the word. Start confessing. Start asking. Start dialoguing. What do you mean by this scripture? What does that scripture mean? That you, you just continue talking, continue communicating, and his presence gets get real and real and real, and the fear will be melting and going away just like that. But he starts by believing. And doing your part, doing your part. Those who seek the Lord, he will be found. Where? Right in your heart. Right there. So he will, be, as he is being found, that means you, you're going to uh, uh, cause him to take his, his space. And uh, where the enemy wanted to take, to, to sit on the seat of your heart, he will be dethroned. And you, you will enthrone the Lord right in your heart. And fear will be a history. Amen. Amen and amen. Again, thank you for those who are givers, who are supporting this ministry. We love you. We appreciate. And that's why we are still on air. We thank you so very much for that you are doing. Continue doing. Again, the, the, the donation link is right below this very uh, message. Just go down there and you're going to be able to do it. And if we use Cash App, again, the Cash App uh, ID is a dollar sign, love, and all. Thank you so very much. And uh, we will be talking again very soon. Uh, otherwise, I really pray that this word has blessed you. Allow it to do so. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so very much. Again, this is Ando from the Verse Podcast, where we help believers believe. Bye-bye for today.